perfect. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so we've talked a lot about balancing chemical reactions, and uh, you've probably wondered why we do such a crazy thing. Well, the reason we balance chemical reactions is so we can do stoichiometry. Yeah, stoichiometry. It's a really fun word, and it's actually it's written there right under your name, stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is the measurement of masses of chemicals. So we basically come up with balanced chemical reactions that say you need two of these molecules to react with one of these molecules to produce two of these molecules and two of these molecules. That's balancing. Now we're going to say, all right, if that is the case, then this many grams of this molecule reacting with this many grams of this molecule should produce this many grams of this molecule and this many grams of this molecule. That's the law of conservation of mass. So if you weigh all your reactants and you weigh all your products, how should the weight of the reactants compare to the weight of the products? They should be equal, right? As long as we're not talking about nuclear reactions, they should be equal. Well, we're going to play with that today. Now, it is impossible for us to weigh individual atoms in real life. So we're going to use models. So this is going to be our pretend nitrogen. This is going to be our pretend oxygen. This is our, sorry, pretend carbon. Pretend carbon is black. Uh, pretend oxygen will be red. And pretend hydrogen will be white. So what you're going to do is you're going to weigh each of your atoms. Then you're going to build reactant molecules and weigh the reactant molecules. Then you're going to rearrange the atoms to build product molecules. And if you did it right, if your balancing was proper, then how should the reactant molecules compare to the product molecules mass? They should be the same if you did it right. And a lot of people are like, but what about the little plastic bonds? Well, the great thing about the little plastic bonds is uh, you're going to use the same number of bonds in reactants and products. Make sense? Yes. So, pretty fun. Um, I got 10 boxes of, of atoms, so we're looking at teams of three. Now, that's what you're doing on the front side. On the back side, you're actually going to use the real periodic table, and you're going to do you're going to balance five combustion reactions, and using the actual information on the real periodic table, you're going to compare the products here to the reactants here. Now, where it says total mass of the reactants, this plus this, this reactant plus this reactant should equal this product plus this product. You get the idea. The two reactants sum to be the two product sum. Okay. Now, should you add those two things up for the ma overall mass of the reactant reaction? No, exactly, because the reactants become the products. So this reactant plus this reactant should equal this product and this product, and the total should be either of those two totals if you did it properly. Make sense? Okay. Questions? Yes. So um when you're in the so by like you want to figure out tables so you can ask them about the Correct, yeah. So um, carbon is twelve and hydrogen is six. So twelve times two is twenty-four, plus six is thirty. So the molecule C2H6 has a molar mass of 30. I get, I get you started with a 2. That's going to be 60 grams. That is the beginning of the balancing reaction. There is going to be a 2 right there. Okay. Other questions? Cool. OK. So you should be able to finish this today. And if you don't finish this homework and get yourself in teams of three, get yourself a bin and Kleist and press the silver button again. Thank you.